It's December 2022 and Christmas is nearly upon us. Are you sick and tired of all of that jingly jangly music that everywhere's playing all the time? I know I am. And I bet you're also eyeing up that bottle bag that's underneath the Christmas tree. Go on, tell me, how many mince pies have you had so far? It's also that time of year where content creators the internet over just can't be bothered to come up with anything new. Instead, trotting out best ofs, year in review and outtake videos. So who am I to book that trend? Rather than giving you my top 10 cigars of 2022 based on my review scores, I'm going to share with you five cigars that I smoked for the first time this year that have made a lasting impression on me. So in no particular order, here are my five most memorable cigars of 2022. What's better than smoking one Lancero cigar? Well, enjoying two, of course, and I had a lot of fun putting together my double review of the Casa Turret Maduro and Claro Lanceros when they were released in the UK in March 2022. Casa Turret really did a blinding job with these two cigars. A Lancero is elegant at the best of times, but the beautiful wrappers and classic bands added an extra layer of sophistication. Nuanced flavours danced in perfect harmony on each draw, and it was difficult to say which was my favourite. So I had to include them both. I'll be the first to admit my expectations weren't high for the Rolando Soto Midnight Habano Limited Edition. But no sooner had I picked it up than any concerns I might have had were put aside. I had the privilege of interviewing Rolando Soto himself on my Instagram live show, and he told me that his three signature cigars were designed with specific moments in mind. The Midnight Habano being intended as the last cigar of the evening as you look at the stars whilst the party winds down. And this is exactly where I imagined myself while smoking it. I seem to have a thing for box press cigars because the Dapper El Baraccio Natural Edmundo isn't the only one to make this list. A slightly crumbly ash aside, this cigar produced some of the creamiest smoke I have ever experienced. More Maduro than natural, this sports those mouth-watering flavour notes that I would associate with premium Nicaraguan tobacco, as well as a generous helping of Black Forest Gateau that makes me salivate even now as I describe it to you. Since I first had the opportunity to smoke the Padermo Reserve 10th Anniversary Box Press Maduro Epicure, I've enjoyed it a couple more times, and each one has reiterated what an amazing cigar it is. My single word review was sumptuous, and I absolutely stand by that, along with consistent. Yes, slight variations from cigar to cigar can be interesting, but Nick Padermo has taken reliability of flavour to a whole new level, meaning that if you enjoy one of his cigars, you'll be able to enjoy the same cigar year after year without fail. Have you ever heard people rave about a cigar brand so much that you need to get your hands on one of their cigars, only to be left disappointed and wondering what all the hype was about? I have on more than one occasion, but that wasn't the case with the Macala Herencia Habano, and it's for that reason that this cigar rounds out my list. With the heritage of an award-winning Cuban cigar family behind it, this stick was delightful throughout. From the beautiful wrapper and box press Torpedo Vitola to the delicious palette of flavours and perfect construction, this cigar is one that I would heartily encourage everyone to savour if they get the opportunity. So there you have my list of five of the most memorable cigars I've smoked in 2022. Perhaps Sandra will take the hint and leave some of them under the Christmas tree. What have been your most memorable cigars this year? And what are you looking forward to most in 2023? Let me know in the comments below. And whilst you're down there, if you've enjoyed this video, why not like it, share it, subscribe and tap that notification bell so that you don't miss any more cigar reviews, cocktail pairings, or lists like this. Thanks for joining me this year and helping my channel grow. Who knows what delights and smoky adventures 2023 will bring. 
Whatever your denomination, I hope you have a really happy and enjoyable festive season and a prosperous new year. And until next time, cheers and long ashes. Although I best not smoke that one. Thank you for watching. If you like the content that I produce, please consider supporting me through my Buy Me A Coffee page. I'll leave a link in the description below. Your donations will help me to continue producing future videos, grant you access to member-only content and get your name in the credits like these awesome people here. Meanwhile, check out these videos for more amazing cigar and cocktail related content.